Hello everybody and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. And today I'm here at the My Energy headquarters where I'm doing some training for the new My Energy battery storage system, the My Energy Libby. So as I recently attended the My Energy Libby training course on the new My Energy battery system, I thought it'd be a good idea to take you through what we learned on the training, show you some footage of what we managed to record on the day and take you through the specifications of the inverter and battery system itself. But before I do, make sure you check out our Octopus referral code to get £50 credit on your Octopus account when you sign up. Make sure you check out our other social media channels. And make sure you like and subscribe to get notifications of our future videos. So the My Energy battery system is called the Libby and it folds nicely into their current ecosystem. So that means it works nicely with the Zappi, which is their EV charger, and the Eddy, which is their hot water diverter. And I'll go into details about this later, but basically... You can use the app to prioritise between all your different devices if they're all My Energy devices. So the Libby itself is a lithium iron phosphate battery coupled with a hybrid inverter. Now the inverter is available in 3.68 kilowatts and 5 kilowatts. I'll explain why the two in a bit. Now the battery is available in 5 kilowatt hour modules and up to four modules can be coupled together, which means you can have 5, 10, 15 or 20 kilowatt hours of battery storage coupled to one inverter and you can have multiple inverters according to my energy so the system is modular and can be expanded so the system is very similar to offerings from the likes of give energy solax solis k star and livotech So as I said, the inverter is a hybrid inverter, which means it can be coupled with a solar panel installation and the solar panels and battery tie directly straight into the same inverter. So it's available in 3.68 kilowatts and 5 kilowatts. Now the 3.68 kilowatts, which is, seems a funny number, is around because the DNOs who provide the electricity cables and operate the electricity cables in your area and your supply place restrictions on what is allowed. Now, up to 3.68 kilowatts, with a few caveats, is generally allowed without asking permission, e.g. they have to allow you to install a 3.68 kilowatt inverter on your system. After that, the next size up is 5 kilowatts. Um, this is generally pretty a pretty safe bet for most installations but you do have to apply for permission prior to installation and get that permission granted by the DNO. If you wanted to go bigger on your solar installation you would be looking at coupling up multiple inverters and you could do this by adding more Libby systems or by adding pure solar inverters such as the Solis and solar edge inverters that are normally coupled with PV only installations. For the installers out there, the input side of the inverter on the PV side is fairly generous with an MPPT voltage range of 120 to 550 volts. There are two MPPTs and there's a max input current of 15 amps. So that should allow you to couple it with almost any brands of solar panels. The only other thing to take note of on the battery is that it, they allow a 90% depth of discharge. So that means out of the 5 kilowatts, realistically, you lose 10%. So you've got 4.5 kilowatts of usable battery capacity. In terms of the training, I'd highly recommend any PV installers or battery system installers, people offering both, people who are MCS accredited 
or maybe EV charge point installers who are looking to move into this area, definitely check out the training. It's free from my energy and you need to become an accredited installer by doing the training before you can start installing the products. Otherwise, no warranties will be offered on the products. So it's definitely worth checking out. You can go to Grimsby and do the training or you can do it online. But really, if you can get there, it was worth being on site and getting hands on with the kit. Now, we didn't get to mess with the batteries or do a mock installation as such. But what we did do was get to play with the battery controllers, which are the main pieces of my energy hardware that you interact with as an installer, especially when setting up the system and making sure it's linked to the customer's account. So you go through linking it to Wi-Fi and then making sure it's set up correctly. If you've done Zappy installs before, this should be fairly straightforward, but if you haven't, then it's definitely worth learning this side of things. Now bear in mind this training is not any kind of MCS training, battery training course or PV training course. It's very product specific, so it's definitely worth doing the PV installation course and battery training courses before you do this My Energy product training, but it's definitely worth doing. So I know some of this was a bit technical, and if you don't know what any of this means, then make sure you stick around, subscribe, hit the bell icon, because we're going to be doing videos explaining all about solar PV installations and battery installs and how you as a consumer can understand all the technical jargon and what the differences are between different systems. But I hope that was useful, and in the meantime, thanks very much for watching.